Hello everybody, this is Al with Bobcad Cam, and today I wanted to take a quick look at uh, our standard package versus our professional milling package. Uh, in this example, we're going to look at our Z-level rough uh, standard tool path. Uh, this is used to remove the bulk of material, and there's a couple of things that you'll notice. Number one, it's starting way off the part and working its way in, so we're cutting a lot of air. Number two, when it does enter the material, you can see that it's taking a full width of cut. You know, uh, in softer materials, that's, that can be okay, but uh, really not the most ideal cutting method, uh, you know, to be uh, good on the tooling and uh, really efficient removing the material. Again, we see a lot of air cutting. We see a lot of uh, movements that uh, really aren't necessary, you know, go, going back over areas that may have already be, been machined. You know, when I get this question asked often, you know, as a, a programmer, should I be using the the standard or the advanced package? And typically what I recommend is if you're doing primarily 2D and run into the 3D cutting uh, scenarios every once in a while, then the standard package will work pretty good for you. Uh, if you are doing a lot of 3D work, then you're definitely going to want the professional package which offers some additional strategies that uh, will really make this machining process much more efficient. Uh, in the, here as we transition into the Z-level finish you'll actually notice that there's a bunch of material left on the the top surfaces of the of these parts here so as it's coming in and and uh, cleaning up uh, the vertical walls of the part you see again the tool is burying itself in a lot of scenarios and uh, there's quite a bit of material left over on this part. So again, uh, a good solution for someone who maybe doesn't get into a lot of 3D or does it occasionally, but not necessarily the best solution. So as we uh, transition and look at our uh, pro tool paths, you'll see the, the simulation is a little bit different, uh, the result. Um, right away you're going to see a significant difference in the way the tool engages the material. Uh, in this example, the software is recognizing where the stock boundary is and it's working from the outside in. So we don't get a bunch of air cutting. Uh, it's efficiently working from the outside in. I, I have this set to cut in two directions and you, again you see nice smooth transitions from cut to cut and you don't see the tool burying itself. Uh, this is our advanced rough strategy. It's uh, the recommended 3D uh, bulk material removing strategy that has a bunch of features in it. Uh, being able to work from the outside in is really just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, you know, if you've been running our standard package and you get into the professional package, uh, you're going to see quite a number of different options, but the result that you're going to get in your cutting routines will be uh, shorter uh, cycle times, uh, more efficient cutting. Uh, we do also offer the adaptive roughing, which would be a high speed type routine uh, if you're interested in that kind of strategy. But it, you know, just watching the simulation, uh, you can see it's much more intelligent as how uh, as far as how it approaches the material, uh, how it moves from one section of part to the other, and uh, really how it works its way in from the outside, which is uh, really the ideal situation when you're utilizing a, a Z-level rough type strategy. One of the other options that I used was the ability to identify the flat areas of the part. And really, once it's worked its way down to uh, the bottom of job, it's going to come back and... Uh, Remachine just the flat areas of the part and uh, either semi finishing or finishing them depending on your uh, options in the tool dialogues. But, uh, you know, again, that's uh, another way where you can more efficiently uh, remove this material uh, is by checking the flatland detection and having it go in there and clean up those sections within one strategy. Uh, there are also a number of uh, other options for remachining, uh, you know, uh, intermediate steps where if you're going to cut more aggressive in Z, uh, you can have it go back and re-rough those areas. But uh, like I said, quite a significant difference in the way the, the tool path is being generated, uh, the amount of time it's going to take to cut the job, and uh, most importantly, uh, 
you know the quality of toolpaths. So if, again, guys, if you guys are dealing with more three-axis strategies, uh, you really want to be util utilizing the version 25 mil pro.